What's going on, Pisces? How are you? This is your Scorpio full moon reading. So all of the signs got a little bit of a treat from Spirit this week because I went kayaking and I have things to share. No, I'm kidding. I, well, not, not really kidding, but um, just the intensity. But the the imagery that came to mind for you and your sign in particular was about controlling the flow. So what do I mean by this? Well, while I was, you know, kayaking around, Aquarius had something similar, but it was more so just the richness that the controlled flow offered so that you could have Aquarius placements. Um, but this was more about the, how the water levels fluctuate with the seasons and the spring melt and the rains and um, specific to allowing fish to spawn um, upstream to fill that river. It's, you know, it kind of flows through the park. If the park is here, then it goes out and into the watershed more and comes in through one as well. So, um it's uh it's a really cool park and it is uh one of my favorite places so um but it's like moderating this flow and i got this imagery of like moderating emotional flow to sort of sustain the ecosystem within you one 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 on the time to sustain the ecosystem within you so it's almost like a, a waking back up again and um the ease of movement when the flow is is in balance like there's something about balance right now but not necessarily balance as in balance emotions it's, and it's not about controlling flow as in stopping emotions it's more so about controlling flow in terms of like recognizing what's healthiest for you and your internal ecosystem your internal environment that is then facing outwards to other people um you know and, and it, it also affects how other people can enjoy the ecosystem as well right like this oh you can hear the train oh my goodness the train likes to announce itself it has to at different crossings but um it'll probably do it again in a minute yeah but um I got this imagery of like how many more people are able to enjoy the park and in different ways and how the, the geese have homes that they may not have to nest um, and and all of that when the water levels are higher. So just something to think about in terms of like having uh, making peace with the flow of your emotions as well and the, the highs and lows, um, very similar to the Aquarius reading, but slightly different in terms of controlling the flow. I don't want to tell an Aquarian to control the flow of their emotions because they that would give them license to no no I'm kidding um but it just it would be it would be really like there was there there were ways that they're subtle di subtle but different so all right spirit I'm gonna try and shuffle I had to put a band-aid on because I have this kind of gnarly paper cut at work or from work it's nothing horrible but um it looks unsightly so spirit what messages do you have for Pisces please Wow, oh, that was easy. The light field. I'm almost so I just got the image of fireworks on that. Like something to celebrate the light field. Maybe information has come to you that was that you found celebrating. She is the moon or found found worth celebrating, something like that. Uh, three of cups energy on this. That would not surprise me if we got that. So she is the moon is the other card here. could be moon contacts with someone moon contacts but maybe also just something like by moonlight there's something that might be a little hidden from you that this i'm getting like an expansion of awareness like the things you see in the dark when fireworks go off i i fireworks kind of hurt my heart a little bit i'm not like a, a hardcore environmentalist but they hurt my heart a little bit because i think about all of the animals that get really scared and disoriented when fireworks come um and how that may affect animals in spring specifically because we have a victoria day holiday coming up in canada and i wish that they would just ban them outright because it's blowing up money that could go towards feeding people or other causes related to equity and justice <laughs> thanks for coming to my ted talk pisces <laughs> um anyways uh but i get this image of like the things that fireworks light up when it's in the dark so you can see differently same thing could be said for lightning but fireworks are celebratory so um we'll use that but it's like all the things that you can see right um and it's like there's something like that that I'm getting in the relationship between these two cards here. Something that you're you're better able to see because of a celebration or because you're celebrating something about yourself. Um, and you're letting that light in. Heart of the moment. 
awareness I just heard awareness Pisces but I also get this imagery of like what came to mind and what I heard was you're safe you're safe Pisces there's something about that related to root chakra energy and just that base level of sense of security and stability in your world so maybe you need to know that I'm here to reflect that back to you to tell you that spirit's telling me towering magnificence towering magnificence this is I'm, I'm hearing I just hit the microphone sorry about that in your precious ears Pisces uh towering magnificence is this like I'm getting on this um it's almost like a tower but you know in a way that's inward facing like you don't know your own power there's something about you don't know your own power Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces, please? Pisces. Pisces. Every time I think of Pisces, there's a reader. His name is Sasha Bonison, and I swear to you, I want to say Pisolini's all the time. Oh, my gosh. He's so great. He's so great. Anyway. Um. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups. Two of Wands. So I'm getting this image of the work that you're putting into something and there's like options there's ways it's like you're trying to figure out how you want to feel about something Pisces you're trying to figure out how you want to feel and I feel like it's not very clear to you like there's some way that this is really conflicting and it's not for fear of putting the work in it's not for fear of that at all I feel like it's just trying to decide what's most important to you and what you want in the big picture, this big picture thinking. This is more three of wands for big picture thinking, but I feel like this is like planning for the future. Like there's some way that you're trying to incorporate that into your energy right now and it's making things not so clear. Like you're not so sure of how you feel, um, but you're still showing up as this energy. So I think that you do know this is almost like high priestess energy I'm getting off of this. Like there's a way that you know you're very intuitively connected right now, Pisces. Um and I feel as though maybe that's what is expanding in your chart. I just heard with Jupiter's transit through um, Aries. It could be, it could very well be. There's something that's expanding about your emotional awareness. And that is, and I'm hearing that's bringing it home, whatever that means to you. Empress, yeah. There's, it's, this is, uh, this is a knowing that is quite grounded. You know, the high priestess is sort of the 5D, you know, answer to the Empress, I think. Um, they're sort of reflections of each other, but I'm getting from this card that specifically you are, um, you're in a place of, uh, ch very charged manifesting on the one hand, on the other hand, I get this card as indicative of something coming to fruition that you feel very deeply, you feel very deeply, um, and it's almost like, I feel like the moon is going to meet with the earth possibly around this Scorpio full moon like there's some way that like I heard the ground is going to shake beneath your feet whatever that means if it is any kind of earthquake I hope you're okay um I'm also like I'm just seeing that like when I say that I just mean that like something's going to shift it's like going to be really something's going to be really obvious to you right like as obvious as as this this pregnancy is like something that's very obvious so even when pregnancies are obvious, don't ask women about them. For real. Don't do it. Don't ever do it. I just had to put that out there. I don't know if there are many men that watch this channel. Um, my, like, dudes, t my dude tarots, my bro tarot bros, I don't know. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Anyways, but, like, just don't do it. Um, so she is the moon spirit. What have you got? I don't know where that came from. I get kind of defensive when people ask bodily related questions because it can be such a sensitive topic and they're supposed to be celebrated, not like inquired about as though there's like that kind of thing. So I don't know. I'm just funny about that stuff. Cause I want to make space for everybody. And it's hard to, when there's that kind of energy to it. So she is the moon spirit. What messages do you have here for my Pisces? the eight of pentacles but in reverse that was a reverse okay 
Hmm. I feel like this is maybe a little bit of um, more thinking than doing. More thinking than doing. Yeah. This could be related to work stuff. This could be related to a job. It could be all of the above. This Eight of Pentacles, the Wheel, Ten of Swords. Interesting. I think you're giving up wishing and hoping and actually just grounding your what you want in the knowing that it can come to you. And it's like you're giving up this idea. This is like walking towards a new day. It's like you're walking towards a new day with something in particular because you recognize that there was something that just wasn't serving you. And you're taking a step back from that. But you know that fate is kind of on your side with this. Fate is on your side with this a little bit. And I feel like the Eight of Pentacles um, is showing up a little bit as like you moving towards your, a little bit of your soul's purpose. Um, but I feel like there's like a sense of repetition, like repetitive tasks, like we're just doing, we're going through the motions here. And I think you're stepping away from that feeling and expanding as a result with this wheel energy. And I feel like that was more of a cycle that was coming to an end uh, than anything overly, like it was, it was not just something benign, Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? Nine of Swords. Okay, I'm getting there's like a worry that's going on here, but it's like so it's so minor in comparison, like you're on the wheel, like you the wheel turned in your favor. So what it is that you're worried about Pisces, I feel like you need to bring that back and ground it in the present moment, heart of the moment. This is not a mistake that these are lining up like this. It's like there's something that needs to be grounded. Yeah, seven of pentacles was on the bottom. Something needs to be grounded here in your energy because I feel like there's a way that the when we get into these repetitive tasks just for the sake of them sometimes or we go through cycles with people over and over and over again. So it's it's the same story. Just to, it's Groundhog Day. Bill Murray. Case in point, like the de facto. <laughs> that's what it is. So it's like you you get frustrated and you find these creative ways to try and end the cycle, but it never does because you haven't learned the lesson. So you just end up trying to, you know do these really it ends up being comedic to a certain extent but then after a while you end up really doing harm to yourself not bodily or physically because he doesn't really it's it's more a psychological like it's your psyche that hurts it's your psyche that hurts and cries out so um heart of the moment pisces what have we got here spirit what have you got for pisces on this i'm feeling a, a great deal of peace like, there's something about you being at peace. Five of Pentacles. Overcoming this. That's what it feels like. Yeah, that's Judgment Card. I. It's like there's there's stuff that's in the way, but it's like we're moving through this. And a lot of it is... I'm getting that there's a huge karmic cycle to do with... Um, well, let me just... Nine of Cups on the bottom. So we have the Five of Pentacles, the Judgment Card, and the Nine of Cups. Um, I think that this is like, it's, it's almost like I get the, this image of like the safety here, this being with the root chakra, you know, the way that I read that it's like you were feeling really unsafe. Like there was something, okay, hold on. <sighs> there were so many thoughts that just tried to go through. It's almost like you were afraid of losing your sense of security and stability. Like there was something you were afraid of losing your grip on. And then you make a decision that really frees you. Like it's almost the same energy here. Like this decision comes and it's a big one and you lean in towards emotional fulfillment. And that's like a present moment thing. Like it's something that comes to you unassumingly, but it really starts to affect and shape your, your sense of grounding and stability, which is really wonderful. I think this is the energy that you needed. 
Um, but this is the release. Like this is, decision is the release. This could be situations that leave you feeling like this, that leave you feeling like, like you, like it's almost like that, that repetitiveness, right? This eight of pentacles, repetitive cycles. You're giving and 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 giving. And giving. But when do you receive? When do you receive, right? When do you get a pentacle, just a single pentacle, right? When do you get that? Because I'm not getting that you really have maybe maybe not you know this could be related to work this could be related to love whatever it is that you feel um, and sometimes a pentacle is just someone asking hey how was your day or taking a meaningful interest in something that you want to do right like um I'm a big fan of the little things. So I give examples all the time. But like at the end of the day, it's somebody having the emotional awareness and maturity to ask you what's important to you and then doing that thing without needing it to be a fight. Right. So it's like just letting that like those those little things like your pentacle. I'm hearing your pentacles coming in your pentacles coming in whatever that means to you. It, and, you know, with like work situations, it could just be getting projects. You, you could want projects. Um, I'm trying to think of a way that workplaces work. This isn't how my job works, but like um, you could be getting projects that don't appeal to you, that aren't, you know, what, what jazz you and jazz you up and like get you all excited and passionate, right? So it's like you don't get those projects and someone else does. Your pentacles coming in, your pentacles coming in. Because it's stuff that's really important to you, right? And you deserve that. Even if even if you only believe that you get one, all you need is one to stir a sense of hope for a second, third, fourth, fifth. But then like you show up with this nine of cups and like I feel like it's not just an awareness that you have. It's like a knowing that like drops itself on your doorstep. It's a knowing. So this nine of cups, spirit, can you please clarify for me? This nine of cups. seven of swords three of wands I feel like you're kind of a little bit shy about your happiness right now Pisces like you don't really want to tell people about it <laughs> you're not really wanting to tell people about it it's like this um it's like you you don't want people to know because you'd rather show or like there's some way the three of wands I'm getting this as like um a doing uh, um this like trusting in the background actions that you've put together that you've you've engaged in um and it's also thinking beyond your limitations yes but this is also to me a way of like not really you're kind of keeping things to yourself right now which is okay which is okay because you go from the two of wands here in this sort of future planning to doing and we don't always have to talk about plans like that we don't we don't need to do that it's when people get that information from us it is, my lovelies, a luxury. And we need to remember that because I'm guilty of that in terms of, you know, wanting to share things. And, and I, you know, I, I, the Gemini in my chart is quite loud. So that is what it is there. So I do share a lot, but there's a lot of things that I don't share also, right? Like people can think like they, people do know me to a certain extent. I try to be open, an open book, but there are some things that I don't share a lot. And it's not because I don't want to, but it's because those things are just for me and, and people that are really important to me to know, right? Does this make sense? Like some of my friends know things about me that, that, you know, broadly speaking others don't i'm getting vibes of this off of here pisces so i'm i'm trying to articulate it several times by literally saying the same thing over and over <laughs> but there's a way that you're holding something pretty close right now and it's okay don't think that you're in a seven of swords it's not an energy of being shady it's not that i'm not getting that vibe from this particular thing here this is the way that i'm reading this energy is that there's something you just don't feel like sharing right now you may be second guessing yourself in terms of whether you should you may question it and feel like there's some you're imposing some kind of moral judgment on yourself for not it's okay just breathe just breathe and be in this energy this is the positive expectation energy and these two cannot be friends when it comes to manifestation this is a learning card this is a manifestation card you can be in a seven of swords energy you can experience a seven of swords energy but either way when you manifest from either place it's not gonna it will not necessarily fit with the positive expectation here right so it's like you want the, the two to blend together in a way that makes you the magician um and if not the magician, then at least remembering that you have that capability uh, if you forget. If you forget, right? Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Queen of Swords. Yeah. 
super duper clear. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, a sense of clarity now. I think this is also, I feel like this is like confidence for you. It's almost coming across as like this more confident energy in the way that this is all coming together here because it's like you're aware of not just what is happening around you but you're aware of what to do with it and where to put things and not in a way where we're compartmentalizing things um, but it's like just looking very honestly and doing a very honest assessment of what it is that's happening because I feel like the seven of swords too is like it's almost like you feel a little bit like your happiness is taking away from other people but it's not about that it's about um your happiness isn't taking away from other people. Your happiness is lending itself to other people's joy. So sometimes when we share joy, we feel like we have to put a lid on it or be really quiet about it. And sometimes that's the safest thing to do. But it's understanding why we're doing it. Are we hiding that because we feel like we need to do it, uh, you know, to to like because we don't want to shine that light because we feel like there's something wrong with us being happy or are we doing that because it's strategic queen of swords um oh, this is the light shining there because it's i'll do this because it's strategic <laughs> uh and and it's helping us in the long run right are we pulling back for something in the long run um it's it's the difference in energy is huge so spirit can you give me um information on this towering magnificence card here please ace of cups yeah there's like something again like it's like your magnificence is going to shock you i think a little bit pisces and i think that this is like it could be that you get like there's something about love here there's something about love that you it's not that you didn't know but there's something about the way that it sits within you that's surprising even you that's surprising you because like we can surprise other people all the time but like do we often surprise ourselves yeah every now and again like every now and again six of cups four of swords two of cups yeah something about looking back like there's something about healing the past here i think that you needed to heal some of the past in order to you know fill a cup with someone else because you have this ace of cups and it could be something that's surprising yourself yes but then what do we do with that as well right what do we do with that energy and this is the energy of like it could be nostalgia to a certain extent oh i have to move my leg it's falling asleep um it could be um this nostalgia to two to two is just on the time looking back but it's also just this sense of healing things in the past that kept us facing backwards that kept us looking in the rear view windshield 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 every day all day right all day so i think that this is uh you understanding something about yourself through the lens of the past and just kind of letting yourself shift into a different it's almost like a different energy of giving because i feel like there was a way that you were giving before but it wasn't really from a cup like it was from a longing maybe but it wasn't from a cup necessarily at least the cup wasn't full and you were hoping that someone else would fill it. But there's something that's shifting in you that's allowing you to show up with a full cup as opposed to, you know, half empty ones and things like that. And, and, and like begging, not begging. That sounds so gross. It's just a, it's like a diminutive energy. And I don't like to throw that out there because I don't want people to take that on as how they feel about themselves but it's almost like this sort of limerence like we would get into this limerent way of relating to somebody and it's just no it's not great right it's not great page of pentacles and that's where it all starts chariot so I feel like that's really, this is the beginning of that. That's how you'll know that this this is something you've released and worked through this full moon. I don't usually have something that's that definitive in the readings, but I feel like there's something here that shifted in you that makes you recognize it's like, it's, it's either like a, it's time to move, time to move on something or time to, there's like an energy that's put in motion here, emotionally speaking. Yeah, you're putting yourself out there. That's what I heard. You're putting yourself out there. And I think that's pretty healthy. I think that's pretty healthy, especially if you've been in a place where you're like, you're like waiting and waiting and waiting. So yeah, Pisces, you feel free. And I really like this energy for you. You feel free. Mm hmm.
it feels really good. I'm just kind of sitting in it for a minute. It feels quite good. So I'm going to pull from the chakra deck here. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces to close out this reading? Messages for Pisces for the Scorpio full moon, please. Healing. I see how I see whoa, 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 whoa. I see clearly how to bring harmony to pain, discomfort, and issues of separation, and so I am healed. I transcend the illusion of duality, seeing beyond the veil of divisive thoughts and behaviors. I offer with confidence and integrity my visions for a brighter, more harmonious future. I am harmonious. That's fantastic. I feel like something about joy right now is helping to heal you, Pisces. Purity. I release the need to control myself, my life, and others around me. I allow for and embrace purity of mind and vision. I am honest, clear, and pure in my intentions to serve myself and others to bring about peace in the world. My intention is pure. That's lovely. My intention is pure. Maybe this is what your fear was before, is that some of these intentions weren't pure. Maybe. And maybe that I think this is just a reminder that it's you don't have to do the work of figuring that out because spirit's protecting you right now. Your job right now is just to enjoy and be in a savoring space, Pisces. Um, spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Ooh, I have a little bit of an ocular migraine flaring up here. It doesn't really hurt my head, but it just does this weird like kaleidoscope in like the middle um, middle distance. It's it's interesting. Um, yeah, never really painful, just more funny looking. You can look it up. It's like a, a line, and then it spreads out and then just disappears. So. It's interesting. It could be that there's something specific to like a kaleidoscope vision for you right now, Pisces. A kaleidoscope vision. Light beings. Yeah, this is like, again, there's like this protected feeling, but I think this is also you taking the big, like the, the longer take. So we have this on the towering magnificence and all the love that's coming in here because of the healing that you've done. Um, and this feeling of being free, like you're free, like this, there's something that's ended here. The wheel, the wheel is cycles ending, but it's also the new opportunities that have come from the end, cycles ending, expanding as well, right? Um, so I'm getting more of this Jupiter energy here in the moon. Um, and I feel like there's some way that you are um, stepping into the light. I just heard stepping into the light, but this is also a big picture take. So I think you're seeing your magnificence you're seeing this this thread of um you're seeing this thread of of i guess like the moment and what i'm thinking of is uh there was this uh an astronaut i can't remember their name um of course i read it recently and it was talking about how they pulled away when they were in space and they looked back at at the earth at planet earth um, as opposed to the other kind of earth, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but they pulled back and they said that there was so much that mattered that didn't matter anymore. It was just a moment of total presence. And after that, they kind of devoted their life to meditative practices, to spiritual healing, uh, in a way. And, um, it's just this, this, th this way that they said that it really put things back into perspective in terms of what matters, uh, in a way. And I feel like that's sort of what's happening for you, Pisces. Like there's something that's realigning your perspective here it's realigning your perspective and it could be your own healing that's doing that which is like that's exactly the point that's why you do shadow work that's why you do the work that's why you put it in um so i'm just pulling from the notes from the universe on love and connection by mike dooley here by pisces spirit what messages do you have for pisces whoa 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 you have what it takes Oh, those you love, love you. Uh, those two came out. I'll put them both out. That's fine. Um, you have what it takes. Always follow your heart unless it's been broken. Then you must lead it back into love. P 
P.S. Did you know that hearts are never too big to mend, too small to rebound, or too tired to love again? You have what it takes. And then we also have those you, those you love, love you. I don't know if you needed the reminder, but yeah. I'm going to put these here, actually. Interesting that that went there. That's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm going to pull from the Miracles Now deck for you, Pisces. Um, it's getting a little bit harder to read things just because that, uh, the little kaleidoscope in ocular migraines, it's so fascinating because like I'm obviously lucid and totally fine, but it's just kind of clouds the vision and then it spreads out and it's starting to spread out. So I'm going to try and get this reading done for you. I haven't had a check too. There's nothing really, it's just a weird anomaly. It's probably, um, something to do with energies, but When I honor my feelings, I find my power in powerless situations. When I honor my feelings, I find I uh, find my power in powerless situations. There we go. We got it. So I think this is really about you stepping into not so much the heart space because I feel like Pisces you're good with you're good with emotions. I think what this is is grounding them but also honoring them. So how are we taking the things that we're feeling and and making chariot like making making chariot with them, <laughs> making haste to do something about them. Not impulsively speaking, um but honoring the feelings um and and you, the power that you have by doing something with them because you trust you trust yourself with them, but then you also trust, um, you trust yourself, but you also trust, you trust where they're going. You trust the people and the person, persons, if you're polyamorous, that you're investing that energy into. The key to getting what I want, the key to getting what I want is to ask for it. The key to getting what I want is to ask for it. So maybe that's the emotional action. Maybe there's something that you have to put into action here, Pisces. Could be. Could very well be. This is your reading, though, my darlings. And I hope that it resonated. If it did, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps me to grow the channel. And I am very grateful to do this. So thank you so much for joining me here. Um, there are other ways you can connect with me on the channel. But if this is where we part, my dears, I hope that you have a wonderful uh, full moon. And wherever this finds you on the time-space continuum, morning, afternoon, or night, I hope it finds you very, very well. Take care, my lovelies.